Hi guys, Lewis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use Todoist step by step, especially if you're just starting out. Todoist is a great tool for managing tasks, staying organized and improving productivity. If you're a freelancer, part of a team or just organizing your personal life, Todoist has everything you need to stay on track. In this video, I'll guide you through the entire process. First, we'll sign up for Todoist. Then I'll show you the main dashboard. Next, I'll show you how to create projects, add tasks, and invite team members to your account. Lastly, I'll discuss how to integrate Todoist with other platforms. So let's get started. Before we start setting things up, let me tell you a little about Todoist. It's a task management tool that helps you stay on top of your daily tasks, track your progress, and meet deadlines. Todoist offers features like task creation, project management, due dates, labels, and more. You can use Todoist for personal tasks, work projects, or even for collaborating with a team. It's simple, user-friendly, and works across multiple platforms like web, mobile, mobile and desktop. It's perfect for anyone looking to stay organized and boost their productivity. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for Todoist. First, go to todoist.com. Once you're on the homepage, find the start for free button. You can create an account using your email, Google, Facebook, or Apple account. For this tutorial, we'll use Google to make the process faster and easier. Once you sign up, you'll be taken directly to your Todoist dashboard. And just like that, you're ready to start using Todoist. Now, let me give you a brief overview of the main interface of Todoist. On the left side, you will find the navigation navigation panel with the main options. First, we have the add task option, which allows you to quickly create new tasks. Below that is the search option, where you can locate specific tasks or projects easily. The inbox serves as the default space to store tasks temporarily before organizing them into categories or projects. The today tab displays all tasks that are due on the current day, helping you focus on what needs immediate attention. The upcoming tab provides a clear view of tasks scheduled for the coming days or weeks. The filters and labels tab allows you to create personalized views of your tasks based on specific tags or criteria, adding flexibility to your workflow. The My Projects section lists all of your projects, such as Home, making it easy to navigate directly to any project. At the top left corner of your interface, you'll find your profile. Here, you can manage your account or adjust various settings. With its user-friendly layout, Todoist's interface is designed to make task management super simple. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right, back to the video. Now, let me walk you through how to create a new project in Todoist. To get started, go to the My Projects section on the left-hand side of your screen. Look for the plus button right next to My Projects and click on it. This will give you two options, Add Project and Browse Templates. For this tutorial, we'll use the Browse Templates option. Once you click on it, you'll be taken directly to the template library. Here, you'll find a variety of pre-made templates organized into different categories such as work, personal, education, and more. These templates are designed to help you quickly set up projects for different purposes. For our example, we'll use the Project Tracker template, which is great for managing all the steps involved in any project. Simply click on the Project Tracker template to open it. You'll see a detailed preview of the template, including a description of how to use it effectively. The description will explain things like how to add tasks, set deadlines, and organize your project timeline. If you're happy with the template, click the Copy to My Projects button at the bottom of the screen. This will add the template to your projects list, and you can start customizing it to suit your needs. You can rename the project, add tasks, and modify sections to match your workflow. The template may also include helpful instructions or preset tasks to get you started. Next up, let me show you how you can create tasks in Todoist. To add a task, first click on the project you've created. Next, find the Add Task button at the top and click on it. A task creation box will appear where you can type in your task details, such as research articles Saturday evening or buy groceries. When you open the task box, you'll see some options to customize your task. Click the date button to choose when the task is due, so you stay on schedule. A small calendar will pop up where you can pick a date. If you want to set an exact time, you can click on the clock icon below. To make sure important tasks stand out, you can set their priority by clicking the priority button. If you want to set a reminder for your task, just click on the reminders option. This lets you set up notifications so you'll get a heads up before your task is due. It's perfect for making sure you don't forget about anything important. Once you're happy with the details, details, hit add task to save it. Your task will show up under the project you're working on, like home. Todoist makes adding tasks super simple and flexible, so you can stay on top of both work and personal to-dos without any hassle. Now, let's talk about how you can add team members in Todoist. It's super easy and a great way to work together on shared projects. First off, navigate to the bottom of the left menu. You'll see an add a team option. 
Click on that. A pop-up will show up asking you to set up your team. First, type in a team name. This could be something like your company name or just a group name that makes sense for the project. Once you've entered the name, click get started. Next, Todoist will ask you for some details on your team. They'll want to know things like what industry you're in, the type of work you do, your role, and how big your team is. Don't worry, this just helps to do is customize things for you. After you've filled it all in, click set up and continue. Now comes the fun part, inviting your teammates. Just type in their email addresses in the box provided. You can add more than one email by separating them with commas. If your team uses the same company email domain, you can turn on team discovery. This lets people with the same domain join your team automatically. Once you've added the emails, hit create team. Your teammates will get an invite to join. And as soon as they accept, they'll be able to access the shared workspace. They'll see all the tasks and projects you've set up and can start collaborating right away. Todoist makes it easy to share tasks, separate personal and team stuff, and even control access to sensitive info. It's a simple but powerful way to keep everyone on the same page. Finally, let's talk about how you can integrate Todoist with other platforms. To do this, first click on your profile or settings icon in the top right corner of the dashboard. From the drop down menu, choose settings. In the settings menu, look for integrations on the left hand side and click on it. You'll see three sections, installed, browse and developer. For now, we'll focus on the browse section. In browse, you'll find options grouped into categories like extensions, most popular and new and updated. These sections make it easy to explore integrations that can improve your workflow. For instance, you can link Todoist with tools like Google Calendar to sync your tasks with your schedule or connect it to Notion for better organization. There are also helpful features like the AI Assistant, which can break tasks into smaller steps and give you tips on how to get started. To add an integration, click on the one that you want. Let's take AI Assistant as an example. When you click on it, you'll see a description of what it can do, like making tasks easier to manage and offering actionable suggestions. If it sounds like what you need, just click the Add button to enable it. After you've added an integration, it will show up in the Installed section where you can manage or remove it anytime. It's a task management tool that helps you stay on top of your daily tasks, track your progress and meet deadlines. Todoist offers features like task creation, project management, due dates, labels and more. You can use Todoist for personal tasks, work projects, or even for collaborating with a team. It's simple, user-friendly, and works across multiple platforms like web, mobile, and desktop. It's perfect for anyone looking to stay organized and boost their productivity. And that's it for this tutorial. Today, we covered how to sign up for a Todoist account, then we explored the dashboard. Finally, we showed you how to create a project, add tasks, and integrate your Todoist account with other platforms. I hope this guide helped make everything clear and easy to follow. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with Todoist, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.